if, if we could, it would be lovely to start with characters, just sort of Your character. who they are. Who are I'm, a, I'm always a character. Uh, who they are and where they're going in this first season. Uh, I'm Jamie McShane. I play Dr. Tim Fanning. Um, I am a scientist, becomes a neurologist. I went to Harvard with my buddy here. I played Dr. Jonas Lear, who was a microbiologist, and um, we've known each other for a long time. We were best friends. We share a lot. In, we share a lot in common. A lot. And then uh, and, uh, <laughs> he has this uh, expedition to find a cure for various diseases. And we find that there's a, uh, a strain of a virus uh, down in Bolivia, which seems to be prolonging people's lives and their, um, you know, being able to fight diseases and all. So he enlists me to join him down there. And uh, it goes very awry. And uh, it really uh, messes me up first. He becomes the viral. He becomes patient zero. Uh, Take him back to Project Noah. We do tests on him. And um, the virus that he has is resistant to AIDS, cancer, Ebola, or everything you can think of. And so we're trying to figure out how can we use that to, for a good. But we are heavily funded by a military department who want to use it for the other reasons. That's our side of the story. Uh, we need, and, to, and, and we're getting hit by the same time by um, an, uh, an avian type flu coming into America who, that's going to wipe out half the population in 12 hours if we don't get um, a cure. And then we decide, think, to get this cure, we need to get, because we, we use our test subjects who are people who convict, are convicts from jail um, on death row. And then we decide to get a young girl. Because the younger the convicts have been, the better it's worked on them, the yeah. less they've transformed into yeah. virals. So, so they decide to get a young girl. So we need a young, a young kid, and we choose Amy Bonifante. How does your character come to terms with that, with a child and, and doing experiments on prisoners and stuff? Is he okay with that that's all along, question. or is it a journey? Well, that's that's the part of the character that I, uh, that I like doing, you know. Here's a man who went out with all the best intentions in the world to find a good, to find a cure for all these awful ills that the world has. Um, loses his best friend, loses his wife, comes back, and he's just he just works and works and works. He's sort of in that unit the whole time, doesn't leave. He just he's just gonna he's gonna see him in that unit, just working the whole time. And and then he gets to the point where I need to work on a child. So that is the moral dilemma, and that's, where, that's when it becomes interesting for an actor. Um, so how does uh, the passage compare to The Hundred in terms of gore and uh, scariness? Uh, so, you know, The Hundred is a lot more um, in your face and um, blood splattering on the screen. Not just saying that the passage won't, because we've only shot the pilot, and I don't know what the other scripts are going to be like, but... I think it's uh, there's a lot more psychological and there's a lot more heartwarming stories and a lot more about relationships rather than just let's all fight. I'm not saying the hundred is that, but obviously the hundred has all that, but it's not going to be as hardcore. I don't think. That, I could be totally wrong. Though, you know. <laughs> From what you described, it doesn't sound like your character really gets into the heartwarming type storyline there. I don't know yet, you know. I mean, I, I don't I don't know is the answer to that. I've only he's, shot the pilot, but... He, I think he's in a lot of the heartbreaking, I mean, yeah. you know, with, with things that happen. Like you said, he lost his best friend. You know, his wife is dying and loses her. He's, he's responsible. He's so pretty much responsible for all the things that happen in these three books and this storyline because of what he did. How do you feel about that? Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. <laughs> See? Have you guys read the books? Yeah, yeah. What did you think? What, did, what sort of drew you to the story? I think, I think... Well, we this, read them because we've got the parts. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've read them because the parts. Um, the way... The way Justin writes and crafts a book, and he, in a way, you like, you get a little lost, but you get to where you're like, all right, I'm, I'm going to trust this in getting lost. Because it happens several times for me during the course of the three books, and then it all ties together. Because you know, you're like, wait a minute, who are these people? We just jumped in time. How did we get here? And then it all ties back so well. And I find it fascinating how when everything does go awry and the world you know, reverts back to a, a much earlier time in that they don't have they don't have the cars, they don't have electricity as such, you know, how people have to go back and start over again 
you know, if you look at the technology we have now with what you can do with a camera and, you know, um, Wi-Fi and Internet and all that, and they have to go back to, you know, there's a junk of a car. How do we get it to run? How do we get it to move? What is it? You know, and having to hunt for your own food again or grow your own food. And, there, you know, I find it fascinating that sort of going back in time as such. Do we delve much into your backstory and yes. get into the whole family relationship you had that led you to this and that kind of thing? Absolutely. Yeah. You, you'll, yeah. You'll see me with like a dark beard. Jamie's ha hair's down to yeah, hair. Yeah. He's like, wait, I look less. Yeah. All the happy love yeah. power back in the seventies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> doing the whole. We're going the way back to the early days of Harvard. <laughs> I don't know, but we, we don't know. We don't know, but we do have. We have a lot of backstory. Thank you guys so All much. Right, thank you. This doesn't mean you get killed off in the 100, though, right? I didn't say that. I do not get killed off in the 100. <laughs> he, does not, he does definitely I, does I, not. I, I do not. He's yeah. 